watching FMTV Entertainment News. I'm your host, Orvo. And I'm your host, Rochelle. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about Monsters University, Now You See Me, and the new YouTube channel of the week. Now You See Me comes out today, so go watch it. It's a cross of Robin Hood and Ocean. So as we know, Monsters Inc. is one of Pixar's greatest animated films. And it took them one, two, three. It took them a long time to come out with the next one. I gotta say, Monsters University, it looks kind of cool, but I'm still kind of skeptical. I don't know, guess we have to wait and see, right guys? The new YouTube channel of the week is Nico's Kitchen. So if you guys like homemade recipes, go check him out. And I urge you to go eat a Krabby Patty. So thank you for watching FMTV Entertainment News. It's been a great run, guys. I'm gonna miss you. Don't touch me, I'm famous. Fletcher's Meadow, this is your weekly weather roundup. I'm Patience, and I'm here with my park homies. Today, the temperature is going to be 28. Partly sunny with a chance of thunder showers. Saturday, the temperature is going to be 25. Partly sunny with a chance of thunder showers. Today, it's going to be 24. Like a lot of rain. I'm Paige Bradford, and this is me wrapping up the weather. We hope to see you next September. Or you won't be seeing me because I'm O U T out. I'm Tyler Sutton from FMTV Sports, and here are the upcoming events for the weekend. The Toronto Blue Jays are in a three-game series against the San Diego Padres in San Diego. This begins two series against National League teams. The NBA playoffs are still going on. I can't give any real updates due to the fact that FMTV is filmed on Monday, today is Friday, and I don't really know what's happened the past couple of days. The FMSS track team is at the South Regional Tournament, which is being held in St. Catharines. We are competing in the girls 4x4 relay team, the midget boys 100 meter, the senior girls 400 meter, the 400 meter hurdles, and triple jump. Tyler! Simri! Bumper balls! I'm Tyler Sutton from FMTV Sports. I'm Ryan Prasad, and today you're watching Fashion on FMTV. Today we have Mohit Bala, and yeah, we're gonna be talking about fashion. So, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a very sexy, very beautiful buffalo jacket, <clears throat> and a pretty clean Jack and Jones shirt with fly black Jordans. Oh, so sexy, and breezy jeans. As you guys know, this is our last fashion on FMTV, so make sure to tune in next year when we have our next episode. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Hey guys, I'm Sean, and I'm here to talk to you about physical and nutritional health. Now first off, it's important to maintain a nutritional diet. So here's a short little video showcasing to you why nutritional health is important in maintaining a healthy, active lifestyle. We hope you enjoy. having a wonderful dinner so far. What dinner? You're hardly eating anything. What are you talking about? I had a slice of toast at lunch. Well, according to the Insanity Elite Health Nutrition Diet book, you need to have just five meals a day to have a healthy, balanced diet. 
with the calories that your body needs for your body weight and body mass. Do you know how hard it is to prepare five meals a day though? Well, when it comes to your health, you need to make time. Not only is a healthy nutritional diet important, but it's also important to maintain a healthy, active lifestyle. I just think it's important to live a, a, an active lifestyle because it leads to wellness, it leads to longevity. Um, especially in your later years, as you get older, it, it can lead to an improved quality of life as well. And uh, uh, I definitely think that it can affect the longevity of your life as well. It's important um, in that regard. And we kind of try and instill that in our kids here in the physical education program that we're not just trying to teach you physical, physically um, sporting skills, we're trying to teach you about the quality of life. So there you have it. If you want to have a healthy lifestyle, make sure you balance your nutritional diet with proper exercise. Stay healthy guys. I guess that's deja vu, but I thought this can't be true cause you moved to West LA or New York or Santa Fe or wherever to get away from me. Show the trailer!
All right, what's up guys, it's Noah from FMTV, and today is the fun day for the very 12s, and our cameraman, Sly, is gonna be your guide for the 2013 fun day. FMTV here. Fun day, great talk, fun day. Have a lot of fun. Maybe run a football game. Everybody's enjoying themselves. And who cares if it's windy? We're still having fun. From June 1st to August 31st, students that live or attend school in Branton have a chance to join the official Teen Summer Reading Challenge. Help us achieve our goal by reading your favorite books every day and submitting the number of pages you've read as well as your own review about your chosen book. Weekly prizes will be awarded to the most number of pages read and the most number of reviews posted. Don't miss out! Today we're going to get a lot of ingredients and we're going to put them in an oven. As you can see, the pizza that we clearly made and was definitely not already put together and only required us to warm it up is finished. Hey Fletchers, it's your boy Phil. And unfortunately, it's the last school news that I'll be doing for this year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cover all the school news that you'll need to know for the rest of this year. First off, on Thursday, June 6th, we have two events happening on the same day. We have the Stellar Student Recognition event, and we have the Senior Art Show happening at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, June 11th, it's a big day for grade nines. We have the grade nine EQAO test, and we have the grade nine practice test for the OSSLT if you're not doing EQAO. On June 26th, it's a special day for the grade 12s, because it's prom. I hope everyone's bought their prom ticket. And on June 28th, it's the official last day of school. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And exams are coming up, which happen officially on June 18th. And you're late for yours. Get in. Study hard. <laughs> on June 17th, we have the official locker cleanout. So I'm just gonna. Empty, oh wait, I'm doing the empty her locker out. So, guys, school news is coming to a conclusion. I hope you, everyone enjoys your summer because I'm. it's gonna look pretty good. Yeah, very nice weather. Um, yeah. Peace. See you next year.
see you in September.